Welcome to a new video on MQL5, Echo State Neural Networks, and Python. So today we are just going to be uh, looking at some of the results that I've generated. Um, I've used an Echo State Neural Network here, and as you can see, the uh, very beginning here is a little bumpy, a little rough, but it gets better and better and better until finally it's really smooth. Um, I am using a Martingale here, so uh, let's look at the uh, statistics. Um, if we look at the uh, the winning rate here, um, trades long trades won uh, won 50.58 percent of my trades, which is actually a pretty good deal. Um, so this is about 50/50 accurate, around maybe just above. And as you can see, I've made a uh, total net profit is around $200. Okay, so. That's not bad. Um, I'm going to show you the inputs. Uh, we have a, a lot size of 0 0.01. We are trying to make 11 pips. Uh, we have a uh, double down factor of 2. Uh, and these are just some magic numbers. So it's really, really pretty, really, really beautiful. I'm going to show you guys the uh, Python code, right? So this is um, really, really nice here. Uh, let's see. So those are some imports. I did use this Echo State Neural Network. Um, I will leave the citation for this Echo State Neural Network in the description. I'll link you guys to this guy's uh, work. Really, really good stuff. Uh, what we need is a smoothing factor uh, to put the data into the neural network. Um, the data that we're putting in is the Euro USD in this case. And it's around like 1.1, 1.2, something like that. So what we need to do is we need to uh, um, basically take that value, divide it by 2.5, and raise it to the E. And it comes out to be around 1.5, which is around the spectral radius here. Here we just have some operations. We're just going to open the files, uh, read the file. If it's hold, then we're going to open up um, M1 CSV. And what we're going to do, the first calculation is uh, we're going to calculate the standard deviation and the mean average deviation. And if the standard deviation divided by the mean average deviation is um, less than 1.2, then we're going to say enable. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to smooth out the data uh, in M1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in the ESN. We're going to fit it. And then we are going to do the uh, um, a prediction. So then we do the inverse smooth on the prediction. And then we're going to scale up the data because clearly it's going to be like, you know, very, very, um, you know, small. Like the, the pips are going to be very, very small. They're like 0 0.00001. So we need to multiply it by 10,000. And if the threshold, uh, if it basically predicts that it's going to move, 15 pips in three hours, then we uh, basically uh, take this calculation and we show that it's above the threshold and we take a buy. If it's below the threshold, below 15 pips, obviously we're not going to uh, do anything. We're going to pass. And if the, uh, the ESN says buy and the, the uh, standard deviation divided by the mean average deviation is enabled, we're going to send a buy signal to the file, and uh, we're good. So let me show you guys some of the code here. Um, so these are just some inputs. Um, this is, well, let me go over the inputs. So this is, you know, some includes, uh, instantiating the classes, lots, take profit, lots factor, magic number. Uh, some of these are pretty junk, uh, but the buy random walk and the sell random walk aren't. Um, the global lots is uh, set to lots. Uh, here we go. So in order for our uh, pandas to read the CSV file, it needs to have a column name. So we're going to set M1 to the column name. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to populate it with the last 600 values. And then we're also going to uh, open up the control file or the IO text.txt and we're going to send a hold signal. Okay. 
Then here what we're going to have is a uh, date time object and we need to keep track of the time in this case. So every hour, minute one, uh, less than second one, less than the first second, we're going to have um, this uh, CSV update. And it's basically going to uh, take the last 60 values because it's, there's 60 minutes, uh, 60 minutes in an hour. And we're gonna put those into the, uh, to the file now for the trading portion, uh, we're going to say if it's the first day of the week, second day of the week, third day of the week, fourth day of the week, and the hour is greater than seven, less than 15, and again, we're at the minute one, and uh, the STM second is less than one, then we're going to print in, and we're going to look at the control file with this loop. So we have a bool trip equals true, and while trip equals true, um, we look at the file handler, uh, we open the file, and we try to get the string inside, and based on the conditions, um, we have pass, buy, or sell, and then once it's done, uh, we basically uh, write the hold. We're good there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the expert magic number here. This probably should be in the init, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to calculate our take profit, stop loss, all that kind of stuff. We're going to print our command from Python. We have some moving average stuff here that we can do. Um, here's the buy. We're going to print these variables right here. These are the random walks and the random cells. Basically, we can create a random walk out of whether the buy or sell worked or not, right? So if we, we, we were not profitable with our buy, it's you know gonna go down. If we were profitable with our buy, we're gonna increase by one, and that's, that's a random walk. And then we're going to use this on trade transaction. Um, this code was kind of inspired by this guy named Rene Beleke. He's a YouTuber, and he's really, 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 really good with MQL5. And as you can see, uh, there's just some, you know, a bit of commonalities as to his martingale thing um credit to where credit is due you know but i've i've modified things a bit here um some of this is kind of inspired by his layout but you know this is uh you know authentically uh you know some some of my my own code here so uh, it's pretty cool um so we are going to look at the uh result once again it's a beautiful result now we just need to think about how one can pass the FTMO with this, um, or how I can pass the FTMO with this. Uh, I'm not claiming any financial advice there. Um, the result was like $200 in uh, 12 months. And I need to make um, about $1,000 in a month. So in order for this to work, I really have to scale up my lot size or have multiple ones of these going at the same time. So I think I'm probably going to do that. I'm probably going to do, uh, um, I'm probably going to increase this to two and uh, I'm going to run the, uh, the neural network on top. So the neural network here, uh, the echo state neural network has been trained. So if we pull up the Python script right here, as you can see, it's been trained. It's waiting for um, another uh, um, input here. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to uh, send that to you guys. I'm going to put that up on YouTube uh, once that one's done. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe.